Probably you already have a problem similar to this. Your web page contains a iframe and it in a mobile device displays properly with 100% of the width of the page and with a good write in which it displays the raw content of your video. But when you change that for one responsive design, it's not good because the height of your iframe is not good enough. So how we can have different behavior according with the device type? In another way, it could be displayed properly in desktops and in mobile devices as well. And for this purpose, in this video, we are going to take a look in this media carries, a resource of CSS technology in which we could apply CSS according with device. So in case it's being displayed in a mobile, it will use a certain CSS definitions. And in case it's being displayed in a desktop, it's going to utilize another CSS definitions. Hi there, my name is Rafael, and I'm going to guide you through the usage of this media carries example, in which we are going to fix the height of our iframe according if it's going to be displayed in one mobile device as one iPhone, and it has a different height when it's being displayed in a desktop. So we are going to fix this problem together. So let's start. So here is the problem. The width of the frame is okay we define with dynamic dimensions for then it be displayed according with the device width. However, the height of iframe, we cannot set that dynamically. So here it's auto, how it behaves like that. It's very short. In case we change that for different dimensions, like here, seven percent, how it's going to be displayed in the same way. And here, if you change that to utilize 100% as well, like with, it's not going to take the whole screen as you could expect it. What is happen? The same. So it's not affected by dynamic dimensions. So what you have to do, you need to use fixed dimensions to have it being displayed properly as you would like to, like in this way. So now, ah, now looks okay. However, you create a problem because it's okay here in this big screen. However, in case you change that to be displayed in one kind of smartphone like iPhone, maybe now it's strange because it's not exactly the square you would like it to have. It has a, a different format. That's not the proper format we would like to. So how we can change that? Now is the time for we use the media carry in which we could define different properties accordingly to the device. And here is how we are going to solve that. We are going to use this media annotation here. So it's the media carry technique. We are going to say here in this definition that's going to be highlighted here that this kind of CSS properties that are defined here inside is going to be applied only when the screen width is bigger as 420 pixels. So it's going to not be applied in smartphones that are smaller than that. So this first definition is going to say, OK, for mobile, we can use a certain property. And for desktop, we are going to use another property. So as we have tested before, this Height is good for desktop, but not good for iPhone. So we could move that to here and just take that out from here. And now let's experience that. Let's experience that. We are going to have different behavior. It's going to be accessed by a mobile device or by a desktop. So here we can take a look together. Here is the page itself, okay? Now in a mobile device, a red split as expected in a 
in a width and height that's properly defined. And when we change that for responsive layout, here just setting that in 100%. Okay, I don't like these dimensions here, but now it's it's behavior more or less in the same way in which we have here the mobile dimensions. And when it changes, it changes for the responsive for the whole web page here as well. Here you can see now it's going to use the whole screen as expected. So it's good to see it has a good dimensions. But when you change for the mobile device again, here with 100% of the size, it's also properly designed for this kind of, of device. So I hope you could enjoy this technique that's called media carries and use that in our own projects. Thank you for watching. See you next time.